Before I talk to you about how to design your space, I want to talk to you about navigation. This is a really critical piece to using this software successfully. I recommend that you get a mouse, preferably one with a scroll wheel. I use a laptop and the trackpad is not as easy to use as the mouse. So to make your life simpler, go now and get a mouse. The first thing you'll learn is zooming in and out and I can use the scroll wheel or the scroll button on the mouse to do that. So I can scroll it to zoom in and out. And then I can use the left click and drag to maneuver my way around the building. For some reason, this is not as easy on a trackpad. The next thing I want to show you is this person icon down here at the bottom with the arrow on top of it. What I want you to do is click on this and drag it inside your space. It doesn't matter where, just any place inside your space. This icon indicates where you will drop in to the space and I'm going to show you that in just a second. Everything I'm doing right now is sort of from an aerial view or from outside the space. But if I want to see what it looks like inside the space, I'm going to click on the switch view button in the upper left hand corner of my screen. When I click switch view, it drops me inside my gallery. And where does it drop me? Right where I put that person icon with the arrow on top. So that's why that's an important component and why you want to place it inside your gallery. Once I'm inside, Using the mouse to click and move around works exactly the same. But if I want to zoom in, or actually in this case, move to a different area of my gallery, you'll notice this little teal icon with the footprints. Wherever I place that teal icon and click, I move to that area. It's just like I'm walking there. So take a few minutes and get really comfortable with the navigation. Play around with all of these navigation features and get incredibly comfortable with your navigation.